first one is we call this one a valet service. Okay, for the front office department, meron kami mga designated teams. Okay, meron tayong drivers, which is dito magpo-fall yung kapag nag-avail kayo ng valet service, going to the festival, APC, or alabang area. Okay, so meron tayong mga professional drivers that can drive, uh, that can drive you guys from, uh, specific malls that you uh, want to visit, okay? And then we have the concierge area. So sa amin, ang concierge namin located at the side of the front desk. The left side. Yes, left side of the front desk, okay? And then we have this one, telepo uh, telephone operator, okay? So bago sa amin yung uh, i-forward yung call, meron mo na tayong... Um, telephone operator na sasagot sa kanila. So, hindi tayo basta-basta nag-accept ng call. Sila muna bago front desk or bagong ibang department. Okay? Telephone operators also handles other requests. So, um, lahat ng tatawag sa phone, uh, si operator muna ang unang sasagot. Even the call uh, coming from outside. So, yung mga tumatawag for inquiries, yun on, um, telephone operators yung unang sasagot. And then, they are the ones who transfer the call to the specific department. Yes. Okay. For the fourth one, we have airport pickups. So, for the airport pickups naman, um, meron tayong mga representative na sinesend to the airport. So, para sunduin yung guest natin. And then, bring them here safely. Okay, so ganun siya. Pag nagpa-arrange ng guest ng transportation or company arrange a transportation for the specific guest, meron tayong sinesend na someone from the uh, airport uh, representative to parang i-assist yung guest. Okay? So, next one is our reservation. So, a while ago, di ba may filash kami dito kung ano yung mga inaano ni, uh, ni front desk. So, first, meron tayong reservation. So, reservation is an arrangement to secure accommodation at the restaurant or hotel. So, uh, sa Akasha, meron kami specific departments which uh, they are the one who handles the reservation for all the guests. But a while ago, Ms. Tina actually mentioned that we, front desk, also uh, make a reservation, especially for the walk-in. Okay? Minsan kasi may mga nagda-drop by na guest. So, minsan, hindi na natin pwede sa kanilang itawag kay reservation na, Ma'am, paano naman, pagawa naman kami ng booking nito. So, dapat as a front desk, alam mo kung paano din yung basic na uh, paggawa ng reservation for the guest. Okay? Next one, dito naman, explain natin yung mga modes of reservations. So, first, we have walk-in. So, a while ago, di ba nasabi namin, meron tayong ina-accept na walk-in. Okay? So, ito yung mga um, guests na minsan looking for one, uh, parang uh, a place to stay lang. Para lang, uh, para lang makapagpahinga sila. Or uh, minsan, staycation. Yes, yeah, staycation for mga one night minsan two nights, ganyan. So, walk-in, hindi lang naman to yung parang napadaan ka lang sa vicinity ng hotel tapos nagpa-book ano, ka na. Minsan, um, wala na sa internet. Wala na sa, what do you call this one? Online. Yes, wala na sa online. Wala na silang nakikita ang slot for, for tonight or for the next day. So, minsan, nagbabakasakali silang mag-drop by sa hotel kung pwede pang makapag-book for tonight or for their uh, specific date na gusto nilang pag, uh, gusto nilang i-reserve. Okay? And then the second one is the corporate. Corporate, yeah. So these are the modes of reservations. Ito yung mga possible na panggalingan ng mga reservations ng hotel. So, corporate also comes from the companies. Yun yung mga um, uh, company na nagbubuk sa atin. So normally, um, nakikipag-usap kay reservations. It is, uh, the bookers. So, the bookers are actually the company representatives para i-book yung certain um, guest nila or employee na bawat company. So, we, on, we also have the online booking. So, uh, from the word itself, online. Uh, ito yung mga promos natin online. So, you can check our site. Meron tayong mga promo um, rates. 
uh, proper rate is different from the hotel base. So we we uh, have what we call the published rates. So published rates, these are the um, fixed rate of the hotel. Ito yung um, yun nga, published rate. Yun yung um, uh, kumbaga, in-assign na rate for the hotel. And we sell it uh, as promos then online. So, uh, yung mga gustong uh, mag-avail na mga cheaper rates, normally pag mga online, it's a discounted rate. Yeah. So, you can check it online. Uh, mar marami tayong sites na uh, you can um, yes, like see the hotel, book, yes, like, like Booking.com, booking Agoda, yes, Expedia, Eric Hotel. Yes, and you can just visit our site. Pwede yes. din kayo mag-reserve doon. Okay? And then, for the true telephone naman, minsan si um, telephone operator. Telephone operator sometimes can get a call na, ma'am, pabook naman ako, ganyan, ganyan. So, si telephone operator, i-relay yan ngayon kay front desk. Sometimes, na uh, nire-relay lang niya is, ah, uh, sorry, sometimes this one can apply also to the reservation department. Kasi may mga, a while ago, we mentioned that uh, book, some bookers are calling for their guests para i-book sila on their preferred date. Okay? So, ganun, dun, dun siya. Pwede din, telephone or emails. Okay? For the travel agencies naman, this one is the third-party uh, third booking. Yes, yeah, third-party booking. Kung meron tayong online booking, online bookings are direct doon sa site mismo nung, um, uh, yun, yung online. Uh, travel agencies are third-party. Ito yung normally, um, kunyari ako, from uh, travel agency ako, pag sa akin ka nag-book, Iba, iba pa yung rate ko dun sa rate ng hotel. And normally, these rates are really cheaper. Uh, why cheaper siya? Kasi, um, ang travel agencies kasi, nag apply yan for, for, uh, for special rate with the specific establishment. So, isa-sell siya ni travel agency na mas lower para mas mabili siya. Di ba, normally tayo pag nag-book, hahanapin natin yung mga mababang rates. So, yung makita natin ni travel agency is normally different from the hotel rate. And normally, the uh, hotel, uh, hindi tayo nag-disclose ng uh, travel agency's rate. Kanyari, yung nag-check-in travel agency, and then tinanong kayo, ah, anong rate ba yung nakuha namin? Hindi mo siya pwedeng uh, sabihin niya sa again. Since, iba nga yung rate na, na um, sinabi ni travel, travel agency sa inyo, doon sa rate na talagang nag-apply sa hotel. Yes. And then we also have um, reservations coming from the events. Ayan. Uh, meron kasing mga guests tayo na nag help lang ng mga events. And then, yun, from coming from that, um, nagkakaroon sila ng idea na, ah, pwede pala ako mag-check in. Yun. So, normally yung iba, nag-discover lang yun through the events na ina na nila. Yes, and very good example this one. Ito, yung event, di ba? Bago naman to nangyaring event na to is uh, some of your professor book for this event. Okay? So, dun din siya magpapos. So, that's reserving for a uh, function room for an event. Walk-in reservation. Okay? So, hindi naman mawawala. Kahit may ina-approach naman tayong someone, di ba? We say hi and hello. Hindi naman tayo basta-basta lang i-approach natin. Uy, ate! Ganon, di ba? Hindi naman ganon. So, it must come so, with greetings muna. So, greetings. Ang akasya, ang pag-greet namin is good afternoon or mabuhay. Okay? We say mabuhay and then we, we put our uh, right hand on our heart, yung malapit sa heart natin, and we bow. Okay? So, that's the uh, akasya way of greeting the guest. Okay? Now, for the second one is check availability of the room. Hindi naman tayo basta-basta na lang makakapag-accept ng walk-in kung full yung hotel. So, sometimes we say no or sometimes we say yes. Kapag ka, uh, lower naman yung ano natin, occupancy on that specific day, we allow some guests to have a walk-in reservation. Then, the third one, kapag ka na-approve natin or na na nakita natin na pwede naman tayo mag-accept for the walk-in, we get, uh, we ask for the identification card to process the 
uh, reservation of the guest. So first, input natin lahat ng details ni guest sa PMS. PMS is a system that we are um, using at the front desk. Okay? So, of course, itatanong natin si guest kung anong room preferences niya bago tayo mag-sell ng room. Kasi sometimes si guest preferred pala niya is one king size bed. But we only have, for tonight, twin bed. So, sometimes si guest na din yung nagsasay no na, um, no, I don't like uh, uh, twin bed. I just want one king size bed. So, dun siya magpo-fall. And then, sometimes, we ask the guests kung meron tayong celebrant or may special arrangement, special request. Then, kapag kawala naman, hindi na natin siya sinasama for the notes. And then, we ask for the mode of guarantee or payment. Kapag nag-walk-in kayo sa isang specific na hotel, of course, kumihingi tayo ng 50% na guarantee. Or sometimes, just get the credit card details. Or sometimes, pwede din kayong magbigay na agad ng cash for the whole uh, amount. Okay? And then, after that, kapag nasecure na natin yung booking, of course, we made a reservation na. Okay? So, for that specific date, meron na agad kayong booking. So, um, ibig sabihin nun, confirm na yung booking mo. Okay? So, Ms. Tien? So, all this um, process are really important. So, isa na dyan yung makalimutan nyo upon check-in can cost um, complaining. And very sensitive. Ay, ito yung isang FO nyo, hindi ako man lang ginit ng good morning, good afternoon. Kasi bangot pa. So, very important ang greeting. So, um, you have to greet the guest with a smile. Kahit bad trip ka, kahit puyat ka, kahit pagod ka, kailangan mo mag-smile. And then, yun, lahat yan um, important. So, to summarize, so greetings, check mo kung may available kang room to sell. And then, ask for ID. Why? Kasi, um, this is to confirm na siya yung may-ari ng booking. Kasi pwede kong sabihin, ay, may reservation ako under Ramos. So, na-check-in mo siya, Ramos. Eh, dumating mamaya-maya yung Ramos talaga. So, it can cause complaint. And then, input details into, into PMS. So, sa registration card natin, meron dun mga details na kailangan i-fill up ni guest. So, kailangan mo siya input sa system uh, para may record yung hotel. And then, room preferences, ito yung mga, ah, uh, room preferences and special requests are really important then. Kasi it adds to the um, experience of, of the guest. Siyempre, ikaw pag gusto mo yung nag-stay, di ba? Uh, gusto mo comfortable ka. Gusto mo, gusto, uh, gusto mo makuha yung room na uh, maganda. Uh, lalo kung may mga sakit yung guest. Some guests are, uh, have um, mga asthma, ganun. So, you can ask for um, room na um, kumbaga applicable or pwede dun sa guest na yes, check for the pillows. Sa and also okay. the pillows. Um, regarding the pillows pala, so we have the pillow concierge or you can check with the housekeeping. We have um, types of pillows. So, meron tayong uh, uh, mga, yung mga non-feather kasi gabay yung iba ayaw ng mga feathers. Kaya. So, mode of guarantee is very important also. This is the deposit of the guest. So, hindi naman pwedeng bigay lang tayo ng bigay ng kwarto. We have to ask for a deposit. Why? Kasi may mga guests sabihin, hindi upon check out ko na mabayaran, hindi naman ako tatakbo. We, we say no to guests, pero you have to secure your, um, yourself also. So, as a front desk officer or associate, you have to be um, secured. So, pwede mo siyang uh, in a nice way sabihin na, uh, ma'am, um, we really need a deposit. If you don't want to pay right away a bunch of in, we just have to hold an amount from your credit card or we also accept cash. Kasi, hindi naman sa ano, pero may mga guests talaga na, lalo yung mga marurunong na na, ayan, ay, hindi ako hindi ng deposit, hindi na ako dadaan. Siyempre, hindi naman lahat ng lalabas na guests is pwede mong harangin. So, you have to secure yourself, either cash or credit card. So, you have to ask for a deposit. And also, yun nga, kasama nung pag-check ng mga videos, the confirmed booking. 
So, um, may mga guests na nagsasabi, I have a booking, pero wala sa system. So, you have to uh, make sure that the guest has a booking. So, you can ask for a voucher, kasi normally pag mga online booking, meron sinesend yan si um, third party sa kanila na confirm vouchers. As well as yung mga direct na nagpapabook kay reservation. Our reservations team uh, will send a confirmation letter also. So, eto, take note nyo yung mga details or mga kailangan upon check-in. Because these are all important. Yes, and later, be ready, we have a lot of questions. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you can... Normally, uh, pag front desk kasi, hawak niya lahat. So, front desk process the uh, payment of the events. We also press the request to the housekeeping. We also get requests from the um, F&B, but our main task is to check in and check out. And how to check in guests? So, pagkadating ni guests sa lobby, so pagka-enter ng hotel, syempre, we should greet with a smile. So, since we are the first impressions, Ayun naman natin na pagdating nila nakasimangot agad tayo, di ba? Siyempre, welcome dapat ang ma-feel nila. So, after that, you greet the guest, also greet and smile with the guest. You verify the reservation. So, ask the guest, uh, what's his name? Or you can ask for a valid identification card. So, you can check in the system kung meron siyang reservation. And then, the next one is accomplished registration card. Um, registration cards is actually the um, is the contract actually contract of the guest na totoo ang nag-check in siya. Kung makikita niya sa registration card, so I think later hindi sila naka-registration card na naka naka-group check in kasi. But normally the registration cards sa contract Meron siya sa baba na, na uh, may nakalagay na the hotel is uh, right to ganun, ganun. May, uh, kung baga na information and yung uh, reminders ng hotel is under sa registration. So, this is, um, kung baga, um, what you call that? Yung evidence mo na nag-check in yung guest sa'yo. So, very important na mapasign natin yan sa guest. And then, secure guarantee or deposit. As we said earlier, again, we should um, ask for a deposit or a payment for the room. Also, remind inclusions. Uh, meron sa system natin na, uh, syempre, pag tinik ni reservations yung booking mo, meron doon tatanahin ka ni reservations. Ma'am, uh, do you have any requests or preferences po sa reservation? So, sa system, ilalagay yun ni reservations. And you have to remind the guests. Kasi as, parang sa mga promos natin, meron niya mga inclusions. Kunyari, ang standard lang ng hotel is breakfast. And then, meron sa promo niya na mga additional na cake, yes, unlimited uh, coffee, unlimited coffee, mga um, discounts sa uh, outlet. So, you have to remind the guests. Um, kasi yung ibang guests, normally kasi hindi nila nababasa yung uh, mga confirmation letters nila. So, they have to know ano yung binayaran nila. So, yeah, lahat ng nasa system, you have to inform the guest also. And check in the guest in the PMS. This is very important, very, very important. Kung baga, more than skin sa isang front desk agent, ah, hindi makapag-check in sa system. Because this can cause double check-ins and it will lead to guest complaints. So, before you give the room keys, you have to check in the guest in the system first. And then issue the room key. Yeah. So once you check in the guest in the system, that's the only time you will release the keys. So double check, double check. Ayan. Kung malinis na yung room, kung um, kung na check in man ba? Ayan. So before you check, you issue the room. So before the issue, we are uh, na issue man na. For example, na issue na ni front test yung key. Of course, we need to remind the guests kung nasan yung mga facilities natin. So, where are the swimming pool? So, yan yung number one. Swimming pool is located at the third floor. Okay, for the welcome drink, meron kasi tayong coupon for the regular guests. Binibigyan natin sila ng isang voucher for the complimentary drink that is good for two. It, uh, pwede nilang i-claim sa 16th floor. 
So, nandito siyang side. It's called Three Top Bar. So, it will be open 5.30 until 12 midnight. So, yung mga timings, we, of course, guests needs to know where is the breakfast buffet, located at the CS floor, and then 6 until 10 a.m. So, mga ganon before uh, actually bago si guest umalis sa harapan natin. Okay? So, second, yeah. so, yun nga, front desk, front office itself is actually a big um, kumbaga, uh, department or you have the uh, one of the biggest uh, tasks in the hotel. Kasi ikaw nga lahat, ikaw takbuan. Hindi ka lang mag-check in, check out. Ikaw lahat, you should know also all the details of the hotel. Ganyan. We have the, uh, sa front office department, we have what we call, uh, kumbaga, sub-departments. So front office department includes the telephone operators as like what what's, uh, what we said uh, earlier at yung mga um, associates uh, na una natin nakakausap uh, if ever tumawag tayo sa hotel. So sila yung nagre-relay ng mga uh, requests of the guests. Uh, sila rin yung nagta-transfer lahat ng calls uh, coming from outside. Ayan. So relay concerns for guests and appropriate department. We have what we call the rumors. So they are part of the front uh, office department also. Um, they are the ones actually what we call mga uh, standby sa guests. So once the, um, the front desk agent uh, uh, finally check in the guests, uh, they are the ones who um, assist the guests papunta uh, sa rooms nila. So actually I don't uh, I don't know if all the hotels uh, do this, but um, sila yung um, nagahatid sa guests. Kasi syempre may mga guests na, ah, isang ba yung ano, hindi ko, hindi ko mahalap. So, we take this opportunity to room, is, to, to room in the guests so we can actually uh, interact with them also. So, para ma-remind din yung inclusions nila, masabi natin kung saan yung uh, sa yung mga designated facilities natin and also para ipakita yung room and kung ano yung mga pwede nilang uh, makita or magamit sa rooms. Yeah, guest experience officers like what uh uh is at uh, belongs to. So yes. guest experience officers are in charge of taking care of the VIPs a special remains requested by guests, handles group check-ins, and other related hotel activities and events. Um, actually, part pa rin ng front desk associate or the front liners. Yun nga lang, mas prioritize nila yung VIPs. So, kaya kami naghiwalay ng separate um, personnel para matutukan yung may mga special requests or special needs. Yun nga, like mga presidents, mga ganang may mga uh, health issues, uh, needs, uh, pwede nilang, uh, kumbaga, ma-prioritize. So, we also offer express check-ins. So, pag may nag-request sa atin ng express check-in, we do that also. So, express check-in, yun yung mga hindi napipila sa front desk. So, we can assist them uh, straight to their rooms. So, doon na nila i-check-in ng guests. So, we do that also. And express check-out as And express check-out the concierge and bell service. Uh, sila yung nag, uh, um, nag assist sa lahat ng guests na, uh, of course, pasok na hotel. Uh, they are also the human inside the visit to front uh, office department. So they have, uh, they have to know the uh, best place to eat, kung ano yung mga i-offer ng hotel. Uh, as well as at mga transport mga mode of transportation so lahat uh, lahat ng pwede i-offer ng hotel dapat alam ng concierge yeah. they also keep the um, packages kasi we also uh, accept packages of the uh, of the guests so kung may papaiwan si guests uh, may mga magpa-pick up ng mga package nila so the concierge uh, are the ones who keep the parcel or the packages. So their primary role is to assist uh, their guests with matters such as uh, dinner reservations. We also um, assist of booking tours, um, luggage assistance, etc. 
uh, examples of requests and inquiries, yan, yung mga tours. So, kung if ever uh, gusto nyo mag-tour, ganon, we also offer that. And we can uh, ask one of our concierge or bell, bell service uh, for that. Yes. Assist guests also with their luggage during a check-in and check-out of the guests. Sometimes, uh, pag busy si front desk agent, um, yung mga bell service or the concierge, uh, pwede rin sila mag-check-in. So, they can also assist the uh, front desk associate para mag-check-in ang guests. We also have the valley services. Um, the hotel, of course, we have the basement parkings. We offer the valley. So, pag ayaw ni guests na mag-park, uh, we offer the valley service. For the in-house, actually, parking and valley is for free. So, meron tayong mga bibigay na um, tickets for them to validate para um, they don't have to pay anymore. Yan. Those, uh, these are professional drivers who handle the transport of the guests within the area of the hotel as well as handle individual guests' vehicles should they choose to have their cars parked by such professionals. So we don't allow interns, we don't allow some de uh, other departments to um, have the guest cars valid. Why? Because we only hire professional drivers kasi uh, liability ng hotel ang, uh, of course, yung mga sasakyan na guest natin. We also have the airport representative. Their job is to guide the guests to their respective hotel cars and, sh and ensure they arrive at the hotel safely. Ito yung may ina-assign tayo na isang personal. Um, actually, they belong to the concierge. They also help us, uh, help up, uh, help out with the luggage. So, sumasama sila sa hotel transportation sa driver to meet the guests personally. So, sila yung magahanap sa guests para hindi mawala si guest. Alam ng guests kung saan sila pupunta. And then, they will assist the guests with the, their uh, respective cars. And then, to make sure na um, okay yung guests from the airport going to their uh, respective hotels. Yeah. Transportation. Um, actually, it's part of the front uh, office department also. They are the third-party transportation provider hired by the hotel to provide high-quality transportation for hotel guests. So here in Akasha, we have the Avis. So they are actually not a direct um, employees of the hotel, though they are partner, uh, partnered with Akasha. So nag-hire si Akasha ng isang transportation company uh, to serve the guest needs for the transportation. Duty managers. So these are uh, our bosses. So they are called the mini GMs. Because normally uh, the GM is uh, not in the hotel all the time. So they are the one who uh, who handles the guest complaints. Ayan, pag medyo nagwawala na si guest and naghanap na ng manager. Sila yung hanapin natin. So their task is to monitor the operation of the hotel and ask as the police in regards to the standards and policies of the, of the hotel. So not only the guests, but they are the ones who monitor the employees also. So they have to check uh, kung sumusunod yung mga employees and mga regulations ng hotel. Then. Best service of Akasha. So... Ayan, uh, one of the reasons siguro Akasha is known for hosp uh, uh, for hospitality is siguro of, of this uh, kind of character. So, we should be accommodating. So, um, ano ba? Uh, siguro may mga times kasi si guests na very impossible yung request nila. So, you have to be very accommod accommodating. Um, hanggang kaya mo. So, kung magagawa mo ng paraan, sabi nga nila, always say yes to the guest. Ayan. So, you should also be committed. So, um, Akasha, siya yung nagpapasado sa'yo or kung saan kang company na nag-work. You should be committed. Hindi yung papasok ka dahil kailangan walang sumweldo. Uh, committed also um, should be uh, kailangan lagi may sarili mo dun sa work mo. So you have to enjoy your work also. So anticipate guest needs. So hindi tayo by the book. So kailangan sa front desk officer or associate, you have to anticipate 
the guest needs. Yung hindi pa nagtatanong, pero i-anticipate mo na. Kunyari, uh, may mag-check in, uh, dalawang mag-asawa, tapos may bata. Nakita mo, baby. So, uh, siguro, one way din na para to anticipate the guest need. Ask them, uh, ma'am, do you need a baby crib for your kid? Yung mga ganun. So it adds to the um, it adds to the experience of the guest, and also courteous and caring. So, syempre, they are our bosses also. So, uh, immeasure, uh, immeasurable hospitality is uh, what we said earlier, and always say yes. So we say yes, not in the point of pag nanghini yung guest. Yes, kana lang. Sabi nang bakas sabi nang guest. O miss, since friends naman tayo, bigyan mo ko extra room, gano'n, o kaya discount. Hindi naman sa gano'n. So, um, as a front desk officer or associate, kailangan mo maging flexible. So, kailangan mong, uh, kumbaga, kung, hindi mo, kung impossible man o hindi mo maibigay, uh, siguro give uh, mga, uh, kumbaga, alternation, gano'n. Kung sabi niya, Miss, uh, bigyan mo naman ako ng ano, ng upgrade, gano'n. Siguro pwede mo na lang siyang sabihin na, Ma'am, since upgrade has a fee, maybe I can put you on a higher floor. I'll give you the best room we have. Siyempre, bola-bola na lang yon Ano yon Yun yung mga way na uh, hindi natin manunow yung guest. Pero may may bibigay pa rin natin yung best service na pwede natin ibigay. And a good example also, kapag ka may sakit yung guest, okay, and wala siyang medicine na dala. Okay, some, uh, hindi naman ako yung naka-experience na itong experience, but my colleague experienced this one. Meron kasi ang hotel namin is we are um, accommodating a Etihad Airline. So, meron kami naka-check in ditong airline. Captains and uh, flight attendants. So, some of the flight attendants, uh, meron nagkasakit. Okay? So, yung flight attendant na yun, meron siyang flight on the next morning. So, from nung gabi pa lang nilalagnat na siya, and wala siyang medicine na dala, or ubos na. Then, tumawag siya sa front office or sa, uh, sa telephone operator, and sinabi niya, I need a medicine. And hindi niya alam kung anong medicine yung kailangan niya. And uh, yung nurse kasi namin at that time is wala na sa uh, hotel. Kung baga, um, out na niya. So, wala na makakapag-assista ka niya. So, hindi naman tayo pwedeng, or hayaan natin na wala na lang magbigay ng meds sa kanya. Or, um, hindi, pabayaan na natin si guest na matulog na lang na may sakit. So, ang ginawa namin, or ang ginawa niya, uh, ang ginawa niya because that one is uh, graveyard shift. Okay? So, may mga bukas pa ba na mga ganong oras na mga um, pharmacy? ba diba? So, bibihira na lang. So, ang ginawa, ang ginawa ni telephone operator at that time is um, nagpasama siya sa valet driver or sa valet, uh, nagpa, uh, dr uh, valet driver. So, naghanap sila ng 24 hours na pharmacy. Okay? So, doon tayo nag-purchase ng uh, meds for our guests. So, on that, magiging memorable yung experience or magiging well experience uh, magiging uh, maganda yung experience ni guest kasi hindi tayo nagsabing no sa kanya so inuno pa rin natin siya di ba e, um, caring syempre inilagaan natin siya and we provide her needs as well okay so yun yung mga talagang uh, parang mag ano tayo beyond uh, to our extra service so hindi yun yung extra service na iba so iba tong service na to okay I actually this is my second option. Uh, no, first option. Um I apply ako as intern dito and then I tried to apply sa front office since hindi available in slot. I tried na lang sa F F and B. Then, naka one year ako for FN. Pero, I know, hindi naman ganun kadali pag sinabi yung hotel year ka. Ang sinasabi nila is lang, diba? More of lang ang sinasabi pag hotel year ka. Pero, as hotel year, hindi siya lang, um, hindi lang hotel, um, hotel year, yung dapat yung ibibigay mo sa kanila, yung masasatisfy mo yung guest, hindi yung, um, okay, 
hindi kasi kami, I mean, hindi yung ganun ang practice sa amin. Dapat ang masasabi ng guests sa amin, wow, this is the most unforgettable experience namin. And then, bilang hotelier, um, service provider, ang um, binibigay namin is yung best experience ninyo as your, um, as your, um, your my guest, then binibigay namin kung ano yung kaya namin. Ina-anticipate namin lahat ng mga needs nyo. Um, hindi namin siya sinasabi lang na as um, words lang. Through ano din, sa gawa din namin, pinapakita din namin. Ayun, then, hindi madali eh, bilang maging receptionist. Kasi maraming iba't, iba't ibang klase ng mga guests na may encounter mo. And then, yung mga sasabihin nila, hindi lang siya, um, bakit ganito yung room, ganito, ganyan. So, as kami, wala naman kami idea kung ano. So, kami parang, kami lang yung third party na magsasabi lang kami na, ma'am, um, as we're checking, ganito, ganyan. And then, syempre, hindi naman natin ba yung sabihin sa guests na ganito, ano, syempre, nasa hotel tayo dapat always say yes. Thank you. Um, actually, uh, since nasa hotel industry tayo, we should know how to speak other languages. Pero, syempre, may mga language din tayo na pinag-aaralan na actually parang major na sa atin yung English eh, na parang in general na siya, di ba? Sinasabi natin siya in general. I mean, yung dialect mo na yun, as in English, parang pang in general mo na siya sasabihin sa mga guests mo. Though, hindi naman ganun nakakaintindi yung mga, actually, yung mga na-encounter ko, Korean, pag tinanong mo, pag tinanong mo siya, ano, yung mga ganun na mga usual na sagot, kasi hindi nila naiintindihan, pero most of them, nakakaintindi ng English, and then I think I prefer yung English, yung Um, alam ko lang na knowledge. And, pero meron naman kasi nung, nung, nung college ako, meron kami um, um, subject na um, um, yung sa Italy, may mga um, words din ako na alam. And then yung sa Thailand, meron din naman. Ayan. Pero mas prepared ko yung English. I think na yun yung mas alam ko. Thank you. Thank you. Once na nagtrabaho tayo, I mean, once na tinanggap natin ang isang opportunity. Um, kasi may sinasabi sila na um, pag meron opportunity, dapat i-grab mo lagi yun. I mean, dapat kung ano yung ibigay sa'yo ni Lord, dapat i-grab mo yun ng buong puso. And then, I think lahat naman tayo, I, I know, walang perfect na tao. Walang perfect sa isang position. Pero, once na ginampanan mo kung ano yung work na binigay sa'yo at binigay mo yung best mo, I think, yun ang magiging perfect time or perfect na um, bilang service provider na ibibigay mo sa tao sa mga guest.